Good morning, so it's Saturday today and I decided I really want to try and keep up with my weekly videos so this is going to be the second one. I actually originally planned this video to be a little bit different, I was going to film like a cook with me, healthy shop food, healthy food shop with me, uh, but we decided since the weather's so nice we're going to go out for the day so we're going to go to the Thames and walk along it <laughs> and then we're gonna find somewhere to go to eat and then I may still film a little bit of a food shop but I'm gonna make a lasagna tonight um, which I need to take the meat out <laughs> I need to take the meat out <laughs> so I'm gonna do that I mean I'm not a chef but I like cooking so I'm gonna probably film parts of that and then yeah I just thought I'd take you along for the day I'm gonna try not to ramble too much so let's go you're gonna be able to hear me here because it is super loud but I just thought I would show this but I think I'll probably keep talking to a minimum now I think <laughs> and just enjoy the day and then later I will cook with you but yeah it's been 17 degrees today it's starting to get a little bit chillier now I forgot to mention in the morning when I vlogged it wasn't actually morning it was 3 p.m. so I did miss out half the day sorry for that uh, but what can you do, you know? Since Lara is trying to work our Osmo, I think I'll just carry on talking for a little bit, but I feel a under pressure. I'm trying to get more confident with filming in public, considering that if I want to vlog, that, that's something that's really going to stand in my way. So I'm trying to get a little bit more confident. People looking at me, smiling and waving. I was just talking about confidence in filming in public, and it doesn't help, if I'm honest. What I was saying this morning is that I was thinking of filming a sort of healthy food shop with me and more health related video. So let me know if that's something that you want to see because that's kind of the videos that I want to make because that's the journey that I'm going on at the moment. So let me know if you want to see that kind of thing. I really am milking this lighting right now. I am milking it for all it's worth. <laughs> okay, for real, I'm rambling now. around and we found a really cool spot wait I'm covering it with my head right by the bridge and there's not many people around so it's nice and peaceful people do still walk past but what can you do and the Sun is perfect as well it just falls so beautifully on the bridge I said I feel like a weather woman standing in front of this like I'm actually just sat on the edge right now my mum would kill me <laughs> So we're back from the gym and our day out and we ended up going to this Thai place called Roses. I think it's called Roses Thai and we've never been there before and I've actually never eaten Thai food before so that was fun. I got the Panang chicken curry I think with sticky rice and that was at about half five and it's now nine o'clock and I'm still quite full but I did say I was going to make lasagna. <laughs> So I'm still gonna make my lasagna. So um, yeah, we've been to the gym, just got back and I'm gonna start cooking. I may not talk through what I'm doing, but I will show you and like speed it through. But please don't judge me. I'm not a chef. I'm not a pro. This will be the fourth time making lasagna, I think. So yeah, we'll see. But it tastes good, so whatever okay so i got all my stuff out i think if i can remember uh so i got my mints cheeses that's meant to be the bechamel sauce but i couldn't find the one that i wanted tomato stuff oh i need my tomato puree lasagna sheets spices onions garlic i think that's everything i need i'm sure someone will tell me that i ain't got enough stuff but i i think this is what i need <laughs> this is what i make anyway so I'm gonna 
get started. Okay, so what I've just done here is with the onions, I don't actually cook them first. I put them in the blender with um, the tomato puree and just to blend it all together because I don't like eating onion chunks. I'm getting there, but I don't like it. So I'm just chopping it up roughly so I can put it in there. And with the garlic, I'm actually going to put that in the pan first before I cook the meat. So yeah, that's, yeah. Now I'm going to add the mint and I'm going to put some salt, pepper and oregano in with that and cook that till it's brown and mostly cooked. So while that's cooking I'm going to do the sauce. Uh, so I'm going to add the passata. Do I need something to... This is Napolina Passata. How exciting. I kind of don't really have any measurements. Oh, I think I need scissors. Oh, that's annoying. Um, I don't really have any measurements of what I should or what I use. I just kind of guess, to be honest. Then I'm going to add roughly a certain amount of tomato puree. <laughs> no idea how much, but whatever. So I just added the onion. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of Sorry, a little bit of this one, uh, but I can't overfill this. Maybe I won't even, no, I'm not gonna add any of this yet. I'll add it when I just put it all in there. And I also need to make some beef stock as well for the mints, so I'm gonna do that too. I normally have a massive bowl to do this because I don't have one of the measuring jugs, but I don't know where it's gone, so. I'm just making some beef stock. I don't actually need all of it, it's quite annoying. Um, and this is probably really, for people who are good at this, this is just <laughs> probably horrible to watch. But I just need a little bit of the juice. If you have any recommendations on how to like only use a small amount, let me know. Okay, now I'm gonna, while that's just simmering over there, I'm gonna do the lasagna base. Now, these things say you don't need to cook them before. However, with every time I've made this, the top layer is always hard. I don't know if you're supposed to add a top layer, that's the problem. Are you meant to put a sheet on the top? Are you supposed to? I don't know, I can't remember if people do that. So anyway, so I'm just gonna lay them out uh, and then I'm gonna add a layer of this a layer of the meat, and then a layer of this, a layer of this, oops, and then the meat. Okay, so I'm gonna just fast forward through all this. died just as I finished but this is like I don't know how many layers I've got maybe like four well you'll see how many I've got um now it's at this point that I put another lasagna layer on top however it always goes hard and I don't think I'm gonna put it on there so I know people say to cook the lasagna sheets before but honestly I don't feel like it <laughs> I just don't so I think I'm gonna put it on just to protect the meat because I'm a bit unsure but I guarantee it'll come out burnt. So I'm gonna put this in the oven now, in the last five minutes, I'll put cheese on top. So, 
Yay. I mean, as I'd anticipated, all this is completely burnt. So I'm just gonna take it off. Ooh, it's hot. And I'm gonna put cheese on the top now and then put it in for like, I don't know, another five minutes. Okay, it's done. I'm gonna chop it in. I think my camera might die before I finish this, but I'm gonna put it into six pieces and then serve it up. How's it look? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, I left a little bit of this stuff here. But, okay, I'm proud of this. I'm gonna turn my camera off now and I'll see you after I've eaten it. So we finished the lasagna. It was a success. Larry really liked it, which I was so pleased about. I really liked it as well. However, a little bit critical of myself, which is unusual because normally I think everything I make is perfect. However, on this occasion, I feel like there was a little bit too much bechamel sauce and if you watch me apply it, you might be like, yeah girl, it was. There was 90% white sauce in that, but anyway. Um, and then I feel like it could have done with a little bit more oregano, but I really like oregano. Like I add it to anything and everything where possible. But other than that, it was really good. Um, I had a slice, Larry had two, it was delicious. So, um, See, you don't need to be a chef to make delicious food. You can do exactly what I did and just guess and throw things in. Anyway, another side note on that is a trick or a tip if you have fussy eaters like me who doesn't really like textures of things, get a Nutribullet, blend it. No one's going to know it's in there. Even though I know it's in there, it's blended. So just a tip for anyone who's like me. But now I'm going to end this vlog here. It's funny. Um... Larry's Lithuanian and I've been trying to learn Lithuanian for many, many years now and it's really tough. I think unless you have an actual teacher or you go to a class, it's a very difficult language to learn. So um, I've been trying many different methods and uh, Larry just says to me after we finished eating, he goes, Cox planus, which means what's the plan? And I could, I kind of, I could answer in parts, but I couldn't complete the sentence. And um, I wanted to say, I wanted to say, I need to go and wash the dishes. And I've learned how to say it now. So if anyone's watching from Lithuania. <laughs> he's, wait he's, he's waiting for me to say it. Okay, let's see if I nailed it. Manreika is peloti indus. Manreika is peloti indus. Is peloti, is peloti, is peloti. Indus. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to wash the dishes but I'm gonna end the vlog here um, I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me and I will hopefully get another video up next week I don't know what it'll be maybe it'll be um, well I don't know we'll see subscribe and find out so <laughs> please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video bye